Gonna make some cauliflower mash, y'all. Steam basket will, link will be in the description. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my 8 Court Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Today for you guys, we're going to make some meatloaf. Very rarely I'm in the mood for some meatloaf, but today I am. We got one pound, 93% lean, 7% fat. Of course, with meatloaf, the leaner, the better. And don't worry, guys. Everything that I'm doing will be in the description. And this is going to be a basic meatloaf. One pound of um, lean beef. One packet of onion mix of your choice. I usually do Lipton, but this was what was in my pantry. So I'm going to use it. A couple squirts of what's your sister's social sauce. About two tablespoons probably. Oh, that's enough. Go ahead and add some black pepper. One egg beaten. Oh, and I forgot to show you this. You're going to need some breadcrumbs. I got garlic and herb, but plain is fine. But if you have garlic, even more flavor. So we need a cup of this. My bad, guys. I mixed it up without adding my onions and green peppers. Now, green peppers is optional. You want like a half a cup of uh, finely chopped or to your consistency of uh, onions. Sometimes I put red onions in mine, but these are the onions that I had sitting in my refrigerator. Go ahead and add your green peppers. And again, that's optional. You don't have to do that. Sometimes I like putting celery in mine too. All right, guys, I formed my meatloaf, kind of like a football. Go ahead and put a cup of half of water and your foodie rack in your foodie. We're about to put it in, y'all. I think pimp, so therefore I am. You can use regular foil, guys, no problem. But I'm going to use this grilling foil. You know why? It has holes in it. So this way the grease, oil, whatever from the meatloaf can just fall right into the water below. All right. Let's get it in there, guys. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. All right. That's good enough. got it in there all right guys I got my pressure cooker lid on it's on seal the valve is on seal so we're gonna go to pressure cook um, time we want to leave it on high and we want to do 30 minutes and we're gonna do a natural release of 20 minutes so a total of 50 minutes all right Alright guys, we are at pressure, so I'll be back in about 30 minutes. Remember, we're going to do a natural release of 20 minutes, so no worries. And while that's doing that, I have some green beans, not frozen. Just hit it with some oil from my Evo oil sprayer, link will be in the description. I have some fun with my green beans today. I'm going to put some of this sweet and smoky on there. I would put apple wood, but... I ran out of that. And on top of that, I'm going to put some Slap Your Mama sauce on there. And remember, guys, Slap Your Mama sauce is not hot. It's it's less, than, less heat than mild, but it has that Tabasco tangy flavor. So for those who can't take heat, this is the perfect sauce for you. But it tastes fantastic anyway. guys we're at zero minutes so now we're gonna let it 
natural. We're just going to let it natural release for 20 minutes. That should release, relieve all the pressure out of the pressure cooker. And we'll come back in 20 minutes. All right, guys, 20 minutes have passed. Let me go ahead and turn it off. And we're just going to release the pressure. Shouldn't be too much. And yep, nothing actually. There's no pressure to release. So let's open it. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. So I'm going to put my baby rays on it. Oh man, smelling so good, guys. Smelling absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and get my baby rays on there. And uh, I'll brush it on there real good. And we're going to air fry it. Where's my brush? Oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. All right, close it up. All right, let's gonna let's go to broil, cause really that's just air fry for at four fifty locked. Um, let's do. I'm gonna do four minutes. That I think that should be good. Guys, I went ahead and did five minutes, so let's see what we got. Oh man, that smells so good. Yeah, we're good and ready. Take this out, let it cool for five to ten minutes. We're going to um, saute my uh, green beans at this point. I'll take this out, dump out the water, and just put it on saute mode. Let that rock for three minutes, throw the beans in there, and We'll cook them, I don't know, for five minutes. What I like to do with the extra oil and stuff while it's hot, I like to put it in my measuring cup and just leave it, let it sit there until it gets cool. Then I can discard it very easily. I'm going to put it in searing saute mode, guys. Like I said, I'm going to let that rock for about three minutes and throw my beans in there. I am going to dump a little bit of the uh, oil from the meatloaf in there to give it some extra flavor. Why not? Alright. Put the rest of my onions in there it's just for fun. Why not? Smells oh, fantastic, guys. Are oh, we done? All right, guys, we're about to cut into it. It's, like I said, smelling fantastic, guys. Now, this is why I love the Ninja Foodie. So you got the, the best of both worlds. We can pressure cook the meatloaf so it's nice and moist. And then we could just finish it, finish the top off to whatever doneness we want. I could have went, I went five minutes. I could have went seven minutes if I wanted to, like a char on it or whatever. However you like it is how you can do it. We'll go ahead and make a plate, y'all. And this has been resting for about 10 minutes, and you still see a little bit of smoke. So I will let it rest for at least 10 minutes. Shout out to all my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before the video is even finished. I really appreciate y'all. In 50 minutes, this could be you, y'all. We're ready to eat. You saw the paper towel go up. What are we going to try first? Let's get some green beans in. Let's try that. Some of y'all want some of you know some of y'all said y'all want to try it. Don't look sexy. You first. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Now normally with my green beans, I would just put my go-to on there, which link will be in the description, and I'll just put some 
olive oil or avocado oil there and just fry them up. But I just wanted to be different today. And it, it's, it's a different twist. I like it. Nice kick. But anyway, I am dying to try this meatloaf with some baby rays. I've never done that before. You guys, please, go ahead and take a bite. I made this, this fork full just for you. You ain't even got to blow on it, ladies. You got it? Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to slap somebody. This is good. The, the, the moistness from the pressure cooker, crispness on the top, baby rays, just took it to the, no, the next level. Fantastic, guys. Let's have some mash by itself. You got it? Mmm. What can I say? I gotta have another piece, y'all. It's just too good. It's way too good. One more piece and we'll wrap this video up. You got it? And remember, this is cauliflower mash, y'all. Guilt-free. Tastes just like mashed potatoes. Fantastic. And guys, if you have your own meatloaf recipe, feel free to use it. I'm not saying use mine. Go ahead and use yours and just use my pressure cook times and my air fryer times. And you could do it the same way if you have a Ninja Foodie. If you don't have a Ninja Foodie, you can still uh, participate. Use your pressure cooker and put it on broiling your toaster oven or your, your regular oven. Either way, it's fine. Or, if you have a standalone air fryer, pop it in the air fryer. Guys, if you have a Ninja Foodie or Ninja Foodie Deluxe, consider joining my Ninja Foodie Nation group. We'd love to see what you're making in your Ninja Foodie. Or do a search and see what we're doing. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. And page 20 of my pressure cooker recipes for newbies is complete. And guys, I'll put a, a, um, a link to the playlist. I'll pin it to the comments so you can see all the rest of the 19 videos if you haven't got a chance to see it. They'll be all pressure cooker um, videos. So pressure cooker for newbies. I also have an air fryer playlist, but we, we mostly pressure cooked for this. So I'll put it under the pressure cooker uh, playlist. But you guys should check it out. No matter if you're a newbie or not, it might be something in there that you, can, um, you might find useful. Alright, so hey like if you like it, remember to subscribe. Fan thing, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's cooking with Doug.